On Monday, Venezuelan authorities announced the arrest of eight paramilitary men related to the U.S.-backed operation known as Operación Hedion. The arrest took place in the central state of Aragua and follows the detention of a bigger group of hitmen one day earlier in the state of La Guaira. Officials explained that opposition leader Juan Guaidó is involved in this conspiracy as he signed a document hiring a U.S. paramilitary named Jordan Goodrow, who admitted preparing a troop of hitmen against Maduro's government. More U.S.-backed criminals have been arrested today, and this will go on as investigations are underway. President Nicolás Maduro says he has evidence that the operation backed by Guaidó was aimed at invading Venezuela and killing him. Police found these killers with lethal weapons bought by the money Guaidó gets from the U.S. The opposition says the violent operation is a hoax by the government. There are no U.S.-backed terrorists in our country. The real threat is the economic and health crisis this government is allowing. Nonetheless, officials say the arrested men have been accordingly identified as U.S.-funded hitmen. The hitmen have been caught with war weapons and can thus be part of a terrorist plan. This is real. The U.S.-backed operation against the government of Nicolás Maduro has been neutralized by the effective action of Venezuela's military and intelligence systems. Caracas claims to be prepared to defeat any similar operation in the future and so preserve the country's security. Jesus Silva, Press TV, Caracas.